Good morning, traders, and welcome to today's weekly market analysis, Monday, the 4th of March. All right, uh, this morning, we'll just get stuck straight into it, uh, and we'll kick it off with our own Aussie dollar. Let's have a look at that. Um, what I can see on our Aussie dollar, um, if I just get my marking tool out, I'm quite zoomed out. I like to be zoomed out to get a, a broader picture. Is I can see that a market that seems to be converging on itself, and usually when this happens, eventually it'll break through in one or the two directions. Where does this leave us right now for our current position? We are very, very central to that. So I'm kind of indecisive. I don't really see it looks more likely that we will head towards this side first. And if that's the case, then what I will be looking for is for the market to come towards that bottom support level and then to kick off and try and trade back up in the other direction. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put a marker on my chart. Let's put it there. And that's the trade that I will be looking for. But for right now, currently where we are right now, I'm in a little cluster okay and i want it to show me if it's heading towards that side so i can kick off or it could be heading towards this side so that i can kick back down as such now remember we're not trying to predict the market we're just trying to see what is happening and identify the trading opportunity which gives us the best probability so that's what i can see this morning on our aussie dollar let's move along to the euro usd the euro usd is been has been trading in this congested area here as such just going sideways and we are right in the middle of that zone right now so essentially this is another one i really need it to move towards this side to try and trade up or move towards this side to try and trade it back down right now i'm in the middle and i'm not willing to pick a direction it would be a straight out guess um, so um, as you can see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to identify supports and resistance uh, and then when I do get towards those regions then I will apply price action trading to further increase the probability in, in our favor at the moment we are right smack in the middle so it basically means no action for this week on the euro USD all right let's move along let's have a look at the us yen okay the us yen is closer to a trade i'm quite zoomed out and i've got a level that is marked up here the market has come off that level on one two occasions and we are approaching it right now and the question is will it occur one more time so naturally what we're going to do is we're going to try and trade it so let me zoom in a little bit and what i'm going to look for is i just want the market to push a little bit higher and i would like to see a price action reversal pattern occur on this resistance zone so it might look something like this we might get a candle for example that kicks upwards something like that and then if i try and use the appropriate color coordination followed by a red one which is inside of the blue one and then that would be my signal to basically become a seller in this particular market now those two candles have not occurred yet but they could in the next couple of days so this one is higher up on my radar the us yen and i'm looking for a reversal a price action reversal to give me the trigger that i've basically shown which is i'm trying to trade off the resistance level on the top line all right moving it along looking at the cable the gbp usd this one again we can see it's a market which seems to be converging on itself and we are on the top side however let me zoom in there's uh we've we've touched that top like a couple of times and it's tried to kick down tried to kick down kick down a little bit further trying to push down but it still remains there i believe we've probably got another inside um clutter here let me just mark it for you in there and we really need to leave this zone now if it leaves on the top side so if it pushes up well then that's it it's basically um what the way that you would look for this particular trade is as follows if you get a big bullish candle that clearly breaks through that this line here okay which i've just loosely uh, drawn in 
if it clearly breaks through that line there and also takes out that high, then this would be a good indicator to basically become a, a buyer as such in that direction. Okay. Alternatively, we're looking for a very strong reversal in the other uh, direction, something like this. Good set of inside candles, and then we could become sellers back into this direction as such. I'll keep an eye on it. If I see it, I'll make sure I'll post it out live. Um, but at the moment, uh, I, I believe the clutter, um, this clutter area here is more dominant and I really would like to leave that region before uh, any trade shows itself. Okay, so there you have it. That is the pound US. Let's move over to oil. Okay, let me just zoom out a little bit more so I can remember what's been happening here. Okay, so there is some kind of a flaw set there. It's a very strong floor. Uh, on the top side, this level seems to be the new level. So it seems to be a good trading range in that region there. Let's zoom in now. And look, and we are really right in the middle of it. The next possible trade for me, a couple of options. The most obvious is up here and then try and trade it back down. Now that could take a while because uh, I don't know how long it might take to get there or if it gets there at all. In the meantime, what we can do, if we zoom in, we can look. We are in a, a little uptrend here, so we could look for the opportunity to buy into dips. If we see a dip occur, let me just mark that with a little bit different color so that it's clear. So if we see a dip occur there for example and you get price action reversal on the dip then that's a good buying opportunity let me try and draw it out for you just to try and explain what i mean let's say we were to get something like this and, I, and i'll put it into context in one moment let's say we get a red candle followed by a blue candle and it's an inside set and the market had done this pulled back shows me this particular candle pattern there then that's the signal to become a buyer and continue it on in the in the trend which would basically be a trend going up dip and then kicking on forward as such all right so look out for that one um, and then as we approach that top side then definitely i'll be looking to see for any selling opportunities on that side all right that's oil for this week last one for the week gold and quite zoomed out here and i can see something happening there so let's zoom in okay this one's very very close to a setup if i was to get today in today's candle for example if i was to get a red candle inside candle that looked something like that it can be longer but let's say as an example then tomorrow that would be my signal to become a seller here so this is the closest that i have to a, a current setup it's gold on a daily time scale all my charts are on a daily time scale by the way that's what i look at in my monday weekly analysis um, so if i was to get that candle set up as i've shown it there mind my drawing uh, that would be an inside candle occurring on a top level uh, resistance so that would increase the probabilities for me to become a seller in this particular market there you have it guys that pretty much wraps up for this week and don't forget there's a lot of news this week uh, we have key um, interest rates decision for the euro and of course on friday we have non-farm payroll numbers which are due out um, we're back um, for the year uh, we'll be trying to do the weekly analysis every Monday and as I see trade opportunities I will put out a, a daily call um, but otherwise I'll speak to you next Monday uh, for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.